Stevie Wonder. Let's see what he's got to say. Roll him. The truth is... The truth is... That... To those of you who have lost... In the battle for justice... Wherever... That fits in any part of the world... We can't bring them back. What we can do is we can let our voices be heard and we can vote in our various countries throughout the world for change and equality for everybody. And I know I'm not everybody, I'm just one person. I'm a human being. But for the gift that God has given me, and for whatever I mean, I've decided today that until the stand your ground law is abolished in Florida, I will never perform there again. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, okay, Stevie, okay, homie, all right, okay. So, until the stand your ground law is abolished, which has protected and saved a whole lot of people's lives, I mean, the right you have the right to self defense, uh, you want that move, is that right? And so, you're not gonna play in Florida anymore, is that, is that what you say, homie? All right, I'll tell you what, uh, I just see where your heart is at, Stevie. Now, you're I, obviously you're concerned about the death of Trayvon Martin, is that right? Well, what about the death of about Hadiah Pendleton that was killed uh, in, um, in, in uh, Chicago? What about the tef- uh, death of Antonio Fenner? Will you also at the same time, uh, homeboy, will you also at the same time swear to not play in Chicago until the killing stop in Chicago? Or will you just go ahead and, and, and ignore those deaths because those deaths aren't important? I mean, that's the kind of stuff that a blind man like you uh, can obviously see. No, you, you, you're you going to play in Chicago because you don't care anything about the death of Antonio uh, Fenner. You don't care anything about the death of uh, Hadiah Pendleton. So you're not going to play in Florida because of Trayvon Martin, as if somehow or another somebody's going to miss your music there in Florida. But here, you know, Stevie, here, I used to like your music. I did. I mean, fingertips and all of that and Ma Sharia more and everything like that. You know, you okay to blowing in the wind and, and you all right. And, but here, I'm going to ask people to not buy any more of your records or download any more of your music, not to listen to any more of your music or playing music until you stop playing in the ghettos of America. Well, you play in the ghettos where black men knock up little girls and leave them pregnant and never take care of the babies. Seven out of every household is headed by a woman, and yet you go in there and sing Ma Sharia and 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 and, and uh, little black girl growing up in Alabama, her hair's nappy, but she show is good looking. You made money off the ghetto. You made money off the of superstition. You have pimped the black community with those songs of talking about black girls and their nappy head and and superstition and all the other songs you have made millions of dollars off the plight of black people that's why I'm saying to all Americans far and wide and people internationally don't buy any more download or listen to any more of Stevie Wonder's music until he stops playing in the hood and retracts this statement about the stand your ground laws. Two can play this game, homeboy. You're not the only one with an audience. You're not the only one. And I want black and white people to take a careful look and listen to your songs now. Listen to Superstition and listen to all the songs and see how you have pimped the black community. You've made money talking about their plight. I need to let you know that 